Hey guys, Joel back once again with some OCR FSMQ additional mathematics for students who took their GCSE near turn and probably got an A or A star. And today we are back with the circle. So the learning objective for today is to understand and apply the equation of a circle. Uh, in the last lesson we did the equation of a straight line and intersection, so check that out if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this one. So, definition of a circle is the set of points that lie a fixed distance uh, from a fixed point. So, uh, the fixed distance is usually the radius and the fixed point is the center of the circle. So, if we uh, have a set of axes there, center A, B, and we draw a lovely circle around. And um, if X, Y is on the circle, so anywhere on the outer rim, uh, I need to get my pen ready. Uh, there we go. Anyway, on this outer rim, on the outside, uh, for example, there, then the line connecting those is going to be the radius. So we know the distance between x, y, and a, b is r. So going back a couple of lessons, we're going to talk about the length of a line, which remember is back take back squared added to front take front squared and rooted. Um, so if we did that, so it would be y minus b squared added to x minus a squared would equal um, r uh, squared. So uh, the root of all of that will equal just r because it will be the root of r squared, which is, funnily enough, just r. So I'll get rid of that. Uh, we don't need to see that. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you. But, um, yeah, we learned that a couple of weeks ago, the distance between two points formula. Uh, and this is the equation of a circle that you must learn uh, to love, really. x minus a squared added to y minus b squared equals r squared. But uh, we'll talk about that in a second. And unfortunately, yes, you must learn it. Uh, you're not given many formulas in the FSMQ. Uh, exam unfortunately but uh, any uh, circle with the, the center a b and radius r will have the equation that so we'll talk about that in a minute uh, you might already notice that the signs have been reversed for a and b uh, which is always the case with circles and um, something to remember so give the center and radius of a circle of the circle with x minus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared and it equals 25. So remember, uh, well that's what we've got. Remember the equation of a circle is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So if we uh, think of the numbers, uh, we're sent as obviously going to be, uh, well the a is going to be a 4 and your b is going to be a minus 1 and your r will be 5. So it's a circle with the center of 4 minus 1 and with a radius of 5. So just Think about that for a second. It should be fairly straightforward so far. So there's a picture of that circle. If we uh, have a look, the center is about there, I think. So it's four out and one down, which is what we said before, which makes sense. And it should have a radius of uh, five. So one, two, three, four, five. It does, which is brilliant. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Right, same again here. Give the center and radius of the circle. x squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 8. So that's what we have. That's our equation of a circle. There's nothing attached to the x this time, so we know that our x coordinate of the center is just going to be 0. And this time, uh, we swap the sign of the minus 3 inside the bracket, and it becomes a plus 3. And remember, 8 is r squared, so the... Um, the radius will be the root of 8, or if you want to cancel that down, it will be 2 root 2. Uh, so it's a circle with center 0, 3, uh, uh, with a radius of root 8, or 2 root 2, which is good. There's the circle there. Feast your eyes over that. Radius of about uh, 2.9, which I think is 2 root 2-ish. Um, and... The center is at 3, 0, which is, well, 0, 3, which is what we said. 
Now then, write the equation of a circle with the centre 3 minus 5 and a radius of 10, so we're working backwards this time. Uh, that is the uh, generic formula for the equation of a circle. So remember, uh, the 3 needs its uh, sign change, so it'll become a minus 3. So it'll be x minus 3 squared plus y uh, plus 5 squared, because we changed the sign, remember. So it equals that. And that equals 100 because, remember, we have to square the radius uh, for it to equal r squared. Uh, and funnily enough, you can extend that a little bit by expanding. And you'll get uh, x squared minus 6x. So a quick way to do these is square the first, square the second, and twice of the inner product. Uh, just for quickness. And you get that. And then you can get that down to that which does not cancel down anymore, so you're just left with that. Um, but I think you will be fine with the examiner for just writing that part, but you can expand it if you want and leave it like that. But just be careful, don't miss your solutions like your minus 6x or your 10y, because it's very easy to do with those. So find the centre and radius of a circle with the equation that. So now this this is the trickiest part of the circle. So. Uh, if we go back to that there, you'll notice something about this uh, and this having a relationship. They are double each other. So, what do you think we're going to do if we have that? We'll start with that. Well, yeah, we're going to half the coefficient. But remember that if we have that, it will give us um, your x squared minus 2x, which we want, there and there. But it will also give us this plus 1. And we don't want that plus 1, so we have to take away the unwanted square. So it'll actually be minus 1 when all is said and done. Uh, same with the y minus 3. We half the, the 6y to get the y minus 3. And that'll give us y squared minus 6y plus 9. Uh, so we've got the y squared. We've got the minus 6y there. But we've also got this plus 9. And we don't want that plus 9, so we have to take away that unwanted square. There you go. So, that is the same as x minus 1 squared minus that 1 there, uh, added to y minus 3 squared minus that 9 there, and minus the 26 that remains constant through all this. He just drops down to there, and that equals 0, remember? This gets rid of the, the unwanted plus 1, that minus 1 there, and that gets rid of the plus 9, the unwanted plus 9 that we talked about up here. And that's the real constant on the end. Switcheroo, everything onto the other side, and that is lovely. So that is a circle with the centre of 1, 3, and a radius of 6. There you go, like that. So remember, change the sign of what's in the brackets, and uh, square root year R squared. And let's do another one of those. So that, that that is the hardest concept of circle theory uh, at this stage, so try and get your head around that. I'll try and explain a little bit better on this one. But yeah, we're given, uh, wanting to find the centre and the radius of the circle with the equation x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 12y minus 40 equals 0. So remember, we're half the coefficient of x, so we'll get x minus 4 all squared, and that'll give us x squared minus 8x plus 16. So we've got with 8x, we've got with x squared, but we've got this unwanted plus 16, so we're going to take off 16 uh, at the end, because it's an unwanted square, as we call it. Same with that, we get y plus 6 squared, uh, half of 12 is 6. y plus 6 squared uh, will give us that, but we've got that unwanted plus 36, so we're going to minus 36 off uh, at the end. There we go. Uh, so that is the same as x minus 4 squared minus your 16 from up here added to y plus 6 squared minus your 36 from there and bring your real constant down which is the minus 40 and you will end up with uh, that so that gets rid of the unwanted plus 16 and that gets rid of the plus uh, unwanted plus 36 and that is your real constant on the end Tidy it up, take it over the other side, and you will end up with that. And that is going to be a circle with the centre of plus 4, uh, minus 6, 
and a radius of root 92, which is that. Uh, th that doesn't cancel down anymore, I don't think, as a third, so that would be fine for the examiner. So with a radius of root 92 and a centre of 4 minus 6, that should be minus 6. Uh, apologies about that, but remember you swap the sign from what's in the bracket. And here we go. Uh, this is just a little extension. Find the equation of a circle which has the line that joins 10, 7 and minus 2, 1 as a diameter. So that is a key word there, diameter of a circle. Uh, the centre of the circle must be in the middle of the line. So this brings back a little bit more theory from a few lessons ago, the midpoint of a line, which is, remember, the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So 10 plus minus 2 over 2, comma, 7 plus 1 over minus 2. So the centre is 4, 4, which is good. And we can work out the length of the diameter that joins the two. So remember that is uh, back take back squared added to front, take, front take front squared and square rooted. So it's going to be 10 minus minus 2 all squared added to 7 minus 1 all squared, which equals that, which cancels down to that, which cancels down to 6 root 5. But remember, this is a diameter. And for the equation of a circle at work, we want the radius. And the radius is half the diameter. So the radius equals 3 root 5, because that divided by 2, uh, 6 and 2 cancel to make a 3. So now we're ready to write the equation of a circle. Uh, so we put uh, swap the signs and put them in. Uh, so it's going to be x minus 4 all squared added to y minus 4 all squared equals 3 root 5 squared. And there we go, you can tidy up the 3 root 5 squared uh, by calling that 45. And that is that. So, a pretty intense lesson there on circles. They are one of the hardest topics in the FSMQ, and that will come up in Core 2 as well. But uh, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely piece of maths. And um, you know, hopefully I've explained it well enough, and hopefully you've found it helpful. If you've got any comments uh, or questions, please leave them down below, and I will answer them uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, but yeah, if you have any feedback, just uh, put it down there, and you know, I'm more than happy to to hear your feedback because you know uh, I'm not a qualified teacher, so you know it's great to hear uh, if you've got any advice or tips. And, uh, yeah, any questions about the circle, leave them down below, and I'll try and explain them. Uh, uh, well, try and answer them as best as uh, as possible. But the, the biggest concept today is about the unwanted square. Uh, so you need to take that off. But that's only if you're given it, uh, if we go back a little bit, uh, that's only if you're given it in this form here at the top. The x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 12y minus 40 equals 0. That's the only time you ever deal with unwanted squares. So just be careful about that. Probably watch the video again just to get your head around it. But um, yeah, best of luck with the FSMQ. And uh, next lesson we will be starting linear programming, I believe. So everybody doesn't, well, everybody hates linear programming, that I know. So, uh, you know, that'll be fun, hopefully. <laughs> you know, to try and get your head around it, but try and make it into a user friend as user friendly format as possible. But tune in for that in the next episode. There's gonna be three videos on linear programming, so yeah, hopefully plenty of time to get your head around that. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful day and I shall see you next time.